since it's, it's Monday evening and I've worked through until about an hour ago and then I had a wash and watched Glee and uh, it's really taken its toll on me. I'm so shattered already and it's only Monday. It's James' birthday on Wednesday. He's going to be 18. Woohoo! Just as a little insight into my life, viewers, this is what my hair looks like in the morning. Just of a normal morning. Not. Hello Elizabeth, it's Tuesday and the gas man has been in and our road has been dug up and it smells like gas in the house. And we had an on-uniform day today, so excuse me while I just take all of my clothes off. And I've just been to TK Maxx and bought myself a new dress with some of my Christmas money. And it looks like this, and it was only £18. I'm having carbonara tonight and I love talking about food because I love food and I can never give up food. And mm -mm -mm, I think about food all the time. And today I had a tuna sandwich with butter in it and it was really strange. I don't know whether you've ever done that, Elizabeth, but it freaked me out. I'll tell you now. Hi Elizabeth, it's Thursday and I'm really sorry for not filming yesterday as you know it's pretty much impossible for me to film on a Wednesday but I'm in the car and it's really really windy so if the car starts to shake or the camera starts to shake or something it's because of the wind and the rain and it's crazy and it's, the car's just parked and now I'm talking to a camera <coughs> Anyway, yesterday we had the Expo Chef Man in but now he's called Happy Llama and it's just his little business and it was quite good, he was talking about how to cook food and he made a fish curry and I tried some of that but apparently everything else he made was kind of a bit lame. He didn't do the omelette right and I was like disappointed. I'm going out for James's birthday tonight. Maybe yeah, hopefully we're going to Nando's. Oh my goodness, I cannot resist Nando's. So I said I'd go and now I've got to find an outfit and I'm really stressing out because everyone's sort of wearing like dresses and heels. I'm gonna have to find some appropriate heel type shoes and something that's sort of casual, smart, not too abstract to freak everybody out in Nando's. So <laughs> predicament. This is the new booze in sixth form. And it's got a glass door and a real door and a sign and everything. It's really crazy. Hi Elizabeth, it's Saturday and I'm down by the riverside waiting because I walked down from band um, at about 10 to 1 instead of like finishing at 1. And now I'm in town, I'm nice and peaceful and quiet by the river, but the river's really, really, really up. And there's just ducks just like floating in it because it's so fast. But I'll check in with you later. Hi Elizabeth, I just got home about 15 minutes ago, it's um, half past nine at night and it's basically because I had a really fun day with Rachel in Newcastle and um, actually beforehand we went to Durham to the vintage fair and I bought this dress, ta-da, right here, for three pounds and then we cheekily went upstairs in the gates and went to see Tangled and oh, it was so amazing, you have to see it, I mean I laughed and giggled and squeed and cried and ah it was really really such a perfect lovely Disney film and I'm happy about it and then we got the train home through a rowdy central station with loads of rowdy people on the train and loads of rowdy people around where like Tiger Tiger is and the gates and it's kind of freaky outy but I'm quite resilient to that and Rachel was just like ah, I feel scared and I was like if you don't look scared nobody will approach you and everything was fine because we had coats on and I had my backpack with my clarinet in and that felt a bit silly but you know if anybody was going to attack us I had my rape alarm and my clarinet just to doosh doosh them around the face shame it wasn't a frying pan though oh man you've got to see it it's so good tangled it was amazing I recommend it to any of you Hazel Sabethans go and see it as soon as possible it was just perfect so that's my Saturday I hope you had a good week and have a good weekend and I'll check in with you in the future I hope to see you next week Bye!